Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah guys, how is everyone doing? Uh, it's been a long time that I didn't record outside and to be honest with you guys I I wasn't leaving the house uh, at all I mean you know Ramadan came uh, I was recording interviews working on on Arabic like an Arab program or like an Arab and I was uh, kind of busy now today I want to record this vlog just to update you guys I know you guys like to see outside in Mauritania how it looks uh, you know I have this nice house next to me Can you guys see a little bit of water it's not I mean it is all desert it's not all like poverty etc but um but yeah what I was trying to say is that uh I want to record this vlog and um and I was saying that as well uh, you know, I was I was I was kind of busy these days, you know, with Ramadan and and uh, I just couldn't manage to to stick on my routine. I am a morning person, and, and Ramadan got me got me. Well, Ramadan is settling down as well here in Mauritania. It got me uh, kind of messed up in terms of my my schedule. So I'm gonna walk you guys today a little bit around. Oh yeah, what I was trying to say is that today I'm, I'm going outside walking actually. Ahmed is not with me, which is the person that usually drives me around because uh, uh, he had a small accident, you know, so you guys make make dawa, uh, make dawa, make dua for him. He got a small accident, so the car is, um, you know, the car is, uh, is at the mechanic right now and and i need to get this internet the quickest i need i have three megabytes per second right now i need eight megabytes per second in order to you know to to do the class and then all of the stuff that i'll be doing online so uh so that's what we about to do right now so i'm gonna walk you guys around a little bit show you a little bit you know Mauritania. this is the main road that you see once you uh once you kind of leave my neighborhood and uh, I'm gonna pick a taxi right now and go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs which is where which is where uh, where I have an appointment with the brother Ahmed Assalamu alaikum How are you? Alhamdulillah so I uh, just pick a taxi right now. So you guys can see the taxis here. There's people in the taxi already when you jump in. So um, so the reason why uh, my appointment is in the foreign, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, is is because I don't know how to get anywhere else really. <laughs> and so that's the closest places to me and to him. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna record a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks outside. الدهر ذو دول والموت ذو علل والمرء ذو امل والناس اشباه ولم تزل عبر فيهن معتبر يجري بها قدر والله اجراه يبكي ويضحك ذو نفس مصرفة والله أضحكه والله أبكاه والمبتلى I don't think so. That's why I try to speak in English. Oh, where, where, where do you learn English? Just here in Mauritania. Really? Yeah, that's valid. Or do you used to work with like tourists or maybe around the Bahar or something? Uh, no, I'm just... Uh, studying English in the high school. Okay. Yeah, the high school. I'm actually surprised, man. Do you, you, do you mind if I put you on my YouTube channel? You don't mind, yeah? Minor. Is there a problem if I put you on the camera? Uh, what, what? Uh, I don't <laughs> What do you want about that? I don't like... No, actually, I don't like that. Okay, sorry. Uh, you can explain to me why you put it in my... Yeah, basically, I have, uh, I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, I know that. And uh, and there is a lot of people in. When I watch your YouTube, 
that skin. Yeah, there's people who wants to know about Mauritania basically. Yeah, who we'll want to know about Mauritania? Are you are? That's right. I'm, I'm great. I'm ready for to get, to give you more information about Mauritania. Inshallah, okay. tell, tell us tell us about Mauritania. How is it? Mauritania. Yeah, Mauritania between uh, Senegal and Mari no. Republic. Mauritania first about it, the Republic. There you are. Between uh, Senegal and Mali and Morocco and Niger and Algeria. There you are. Is have a, a vast territory. No. Yeah. And how how is the living here for the person who is the person who is not a, a Mauritanian? Is it dangerous for him to live here? Is it, is, it, is it dangerous for him to live in Mauritania? Who? As a foreign person. So no, 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 no. Is that is not is not dangerous to live in Mauritania? Sometimes someone we, from America I, or apart from that, when you are coming abroad to Mauritania okay, to live here, yeah, yeah, that kind of, uh, when you are coming to live in Mauritania, you are abroad, coming abroad. No. That's be can can be very can be very easy and good for you no. because you can open the shop i'm gonna come i'm gonna come i'm gonna get off here as well uh, get down here i will get we're gonna get down here get down get down so sorry guys for that uh i had to kind of cut in a in a harsh way because uh i had to get off but we are at the foreign affairs uh the ministry of the foreign affairs affairs here and to be honest, I'm not sure, but I think it's where you renew your visas and your residence. Now, in terms of me, guys, to give you a little bit of context, and, and if anyone can relate to this, or, or if anyone uh, has a Senegalese, or has the possibility to get a Senegalese passport, and is the thing that I was thinking this, this last few days, is that if you have a Senegalese passport, you can live in Mauritania as a citizen, basically. So it's, it's for example, me as an, as an Spanish person, I can go to France and I don't need no residence or anything like that. So it's the same here in Mauritania uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of residency if you are Senegalese. I'm not sure about any other country like Morocco or anything like that. I just know Senegalese because that's what, because my father is Senegalese. And so uh, lately I was thinking about that. Uh, I even spoke to my father yesterday. He's in Senegal at the moment. And, uh, and I told him like, you know, I need, I need my... Uh... Shokran, Shokran. And I told my father that I need, uh, that I need uh, my passport so I can stay here and I don't have to go through, through all these Hustle of getting visas, etc., and you know, having to think about uh, having to think about when it's expiring and these and that, and I can actually, you know, just uh, just be here and alhamdulillah. And uh, and the reason why I'm happy about this is because being in Egypt for five years, it was a struggle to get the visa. I mean, anyone anyone who who's been in Egypt can can relate to that. That is, it's just, and getting a visa, mainly when you're in Al Azhar, for those who've been in Al Bu'uth, which is like the, which is like the, uh, Al Bu'uth, Al Bu'uth is like the, 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 the studies you do before getting into the university in Al Azhar. If you're there in Al Bu'uth, man, to get a visa is once a year, but it's like a, it's like a harb. It's like a, it's like a battle. You go there, people fight. I've seen, I remember this Russian brother and this Algerian brother fight. Like, okay, the the argument was that the the Russian brother he was getting from the side of the woman, and the Algerian brother, he was like, yo, if you do that again, yo, <laughs> you know, we about to get in. And and the brother, the Russian brother, they about it. So, so they were like, right, let's go, let's go outside. And you know, it just gets, it just gets. It just gets uh, bad like that. So uh, I just, uh, I'm actually here with the brother Ahmed. <laughs> and so, you know, he was walking me around with, uh, to get different things that I needed. And I wanted to let you guys know, I just went to the, to the I just went to 
to withdraw money from the from the bank. This might be something that uh, that might interest people. So how do I how do I get how do I get the money? I just put it in my in my UK bank account and I withdraw it here in the in the from from the French banks basically because some of the the UK I mean the UK the Mauritanian banks they they failed to give me to give me money I don't know if it's you know the card that doesn't work with with the Mauritanian banks or what but I have one just in front of me where we started this video and like at the end of my of the, that road but uh, they they don't work and so in terms of that in terms of money how to pay how to get your money uh, so obviously for example for my for my rent and for things that I need on a daily basis uh, like if I need to get so we have a we have a lady that comes in the house to to uh, to clean to to wash clothes to to cook and stuff so on a daily basis when I give her money to go buy stuff I need to have money in my in my hands even though uh, the the supermarket that I show you guys in the video in the previous video live in Mauritania you can actually pay with your with your bank with your credit card or with your debit card but uh, but you know I just don't feel comfortable enough to give her my, my credit card yet so um, so what I was trying to say is that uh, is that you can pay in the supermarkets in the main supermarkets uh, with your credit card and for me personally from the UK having a bank account from the UK like Barclays they do take 2.75 percent of uh, of every every transaction whether it is paying directly or whether it is uh, withdrawing money and and so what I wanted to say as well is that I have a maximum as well of money that I can take out. So in terms of pay it, pay like actually going to the store and using my credit card to pay something, uh, my my maximum per day is 750 pound, sterling pound. And in terms of withdrawing money, uh, there is a maximum, if I remember well, of 350, I think it was. 350 per day so that's uh that's kind of tricky because uh if you need money in you know if you're in a rush for something or whatever and it costs 400 pound uh you know you might have to wait until the next day so so i i try to not take out too much money to to avoid these fees etc and to not but at the end of the day i, I can't really avoid it because whether i pay in the supermarket with it or whether I withdraw the money is they gonna charge me anyway so so yeah I just wanted to put that out there because uh, I think it could benefit some of you guys so right now we actually going to to the supermarket you see guys the supermarket that I show you guys on live in Mauritania video in the previous video that's that's just next to my house and you've seen it in the video how close it is and so we right now we go into the big uh, to the big one basically to the main to the main one and it's basically it's basically the same the same one it's just that they have more stuff and uh, they just have more stuff so I'm gonna show you guys when we get there inshallah <laughs> تغتر للجهل بالدنيا وزخرفها إن الشاقي لمن غرته دنياه وكل حي وإن طالت سلامته لا بد من سكرات الموت تغشاه والناس في رقدة عما يراد بهم وللحوادث تحريك وإنباه أنصف هديت إذا ما كنت منتصفا لا ترضى للناس شيئا لست ترضاه يا رب يومي So this is the big supermarket I told you guys you guys seen 
how big it is. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it a little bit, not like the last one. I'm not gonna, gonna walk you through all the alleys, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. I cannot show you too much guys because I'm kind of like hands busy right now. But uh, you guys can see how big it is. I just got me some pillows. My neck has been hurting for the past. It's just uncomfortable to get in a position. And yeah, you can have, I mean, you have pretty much a bunch of things here. You guys see? So as you guys can tell, I am back home. Uh, my phone died when we were at the supermarket and at the same time I had too many stuff so I couldn't really record much. But um, but yeah, that supermarket is basically the the bigger version of the small one that you guys seen on the live in Mauritania video, which was like about seven or eight videos uh, ago. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video to uh, to keep you guys updated, to show you guys some, you know, m more about about Mauritania and. Uh, if you, guys, if you guys have any question or questions or if you guys have they actually constructing a new house next to my house if you guys have any 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 questions even suggestions on what I should record that you guys are interested um, I do have a lot of you know a lot of suggestions that I need to to get through it's just that right now uh, you know with Ramadan and with uh, with uh, with the fact that that we set it down still it's kind of like you know complicated but still you know guys give me suggestions give me comments um, make sure you check out you know the rest of the the interviews with with all the the, the students that have that have been interviewing uh, and yeah guys uh, let me know subscribe to the channel for more videos like for more videos like this and as you guys can tell we have one more hour uh, to break our fast and I can even I can't even bring the right words I don't even know what I'm saying so what I'm trying to say is that I'm a little bit tired and that I hope that you guys have benefited from this and yeah just leave your comments down below I will check them out and reply to them <laughs> وما مر جنى الدنيا وأحلاه كم نافس المرء في شيء وكم